Hi party people, um, today, since school starts in like literally two days, I'm gonna show you like what's in my bag or like what I bring to art school and kind of talk about what you need and then what you don't really need to bring. Um, and this is more specific for like the fashion department. Um, so first I'll go through what's in like my backpack. I use this like mom purse and it's like a shoulder bag but you can also make it into like a backpack if you use the side straps and I chose to use this bag for like two years because since I go to the school the Art Institute of Chicago um, a lot of classes like history um, even just like your elective classes they'll make you like we'll take field trips to the art institute um to look at like art and be inspired or you know research things and like look up close and personal and for the museum you can't bring backpacks you have to get them checked um so i got like something that you can like change into like a tote bag or you know wear on your shoulders when you're not in the museum because that way i don't have to wait in line to check my bag when I go to the museum and it saves me a lot of time. So what I put in this bag, if it's a English, science, history class, things like that, that's not like specifically art, I have one big notebook. Um, this one I got for free, which is why there's like an owl on it. Someone gave it to me like before college. but. It's really helpful because they have like the different sections so I can just put like a tab, a sticky tab for each class that I have and then that way I only have to carry one notebook. And I've been using the same like two notebooks for the past three years and that's gonna be like the fourth year and I'm still using those notebooks so save money on school supplies. Um, I have that and then I have my pencil bag this is super old but it's Snoopy which is so cute and I just have like pens and markers in here I also have like the disappearing ink pens for drawing on fabric if I need it um yeah I just have a bunch of like highlighters pencils pens sharpies the usual boring stuff um i've been keeping hand sanitizer in my bag because covid you can never be too safe i also have some random kleenex you know just in case you gotta blow your nose um i have my wallet and some like mints and candy um i have an extra mask because i've like lost some sometimes and then I have to go get like those really sucky like one use ones and I like using reusable ones that I can wash um, and masks are mandatory this semester even though everyone has to get vaccinated to be allowed on campus we're still wearing masks just to be safe um, and then I have my glasses <laughs> I wear glasses but I only put them on if I need to like during class so I can see things which you know is important if you're learning um, these are my new glasses. I guess I can put them on now. Oh boy. I'm gonna feel like such a nerd. <laughs> um, yeah, but I wear these in school so I can see. Like, the board and stuff like that when the teacher's talking, writing things down. Um, I don't usually wear my glasses, even though I probably should. I just use them for school. Um, and then the last thing I ha oh no, I have a few other, like, random things. I have more sanitizer. Um, I have some lip balm, just in case, and some perfume, just in case, like, the little travel-sized ones. And then most importantly, I have my ID and my Venture Pass. Um, I don't put them on a lanyard because sometimes, even if it's in, like, those clear lanyards, it doesn't scan, and then you have to, like wait take it out scan it properly and then go which is kind of like a hassle so now i just keep these in like the front pocket of my purse um the inside pocket so like no one takes it just in case 
here is I don't know if I'm supposed to show I'm not gonna show my ID number but look at how bad my photo is um, it's I look so yellow and my hair is a horrible color because I dyed it and then it faded oh god I think I took this so long ago look at this photo of me um, that's me with my glasses like before freshman year because we had to submit them but there you go and then if I am having a fashion class instead of the notebook I have my sketchbook and I'm not sure exactly what size this is I want to say like 12 by 8 um, usually teachers will give you a list of supplies anyways for um, the electives and like specifically what you need for whatever fashion class you're taking but yeah this is my sketchbook I put everything in there usually they have like a size limit because they don't want it to be too small so you can like sketch and you can actually see what you're doing because if it's too small you know no one's gonna see that um yeah sometimes they do make you like buy a whole new sketchbook for that class and I don't really like that um, I'll just put like a new sticky tab in and just keep using the sketchbook because if there's a lot of space, you know Why well, get a new one? Um, so that's everything I put in my bag And then if it's an elective I have this giant bad boy Oh god, it's so heavy So I have it's an art bin and I got this at Blick It's big as like a giant toolbox um I put my name on here so people know it's mine and they don't take it. Oh god. So if you open it up, you can put stuff in here, but I haven't yet. I just have my like old um, passes for like being authorized on like the sewing machine and things like that in here for now. And then when you open it up, I have all of my little items in here. I'll go through them one by one. It's so heavy. So first I have my measuring tape. Um, and these are kind of just like the basics of what you will need for any fashion class. Um, the other supplies get more specific depending on like what class you're taking. Um, this semester I'm taking a corset class and a shoe making class. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to like get more specific supplies for those classes. But this is just like the basics if you're taking a fashion class. I have a lot of pins. I have some little strawberry pin cushions. I keep my needles in these. I have fabric scissors and non-fabric scissors. And little embroidery scissors. And then I have some broken chalk that I need to replace. Um, just some little thread for like hand sewing or if you're using like the at home sewing machines. Um, I have a seam ripper. I have, I don't know what this thing is called, but you use it to like hole punch the darts and things like that. Like you mark the I don't know how to explain it, but it's like a marker of, yeah, okay. Um, and then I have this little pinwheel that's very sharp and scary to um, trace my patterns. I have some tape for draping, some black skinny tape. And then I have these bobbin and bobbin case. So this is the bobbin, and this is the bobbin case, and you have to buy this specifically at um, the resale center in the Sharp building because they are very specific to the sewing machines that are in the Sullivan, Sullivan building that we use. Um, but everything else I either got at Joann's or Blake. So that's all the little stuff. Top layer. That's 
all the stuff. Take off the top layer. And there's a lot of storage in the bottom. So in here I have a clear ruler. I have like bigger spools of thread for machine sewing. Um, I have even more pins. I have some like black ribbon. I don't know how to explain, but you use it for draping. I don't know if it's called ribbon or like what else it is, but yeah, I got this off Amazon. Um, and then I have a French curve ruler. I have, oh, I should have put this in the little thing, but this is some fray check. I'll put it up there. And then I have my, like, oh, I forgot what this is called, but you use it to, um, these scissors are for, like, so the fabric doesn't fray. I don't remember what they're called, but that's what those are. And then I just have weights. I have this one, and then I have, like, this set of, like, clear glass ones that are a little lighter. Um, and that's basically it. Um, yeah, hopefully this was helpful. I definitely, like, bring this every day. These are, well, I bring my bag if it's, like, a non-fashion art class. And I bring, obviously, all my tools and stuff if it is a fashion art class. Um, yeah. I don't have a planner because I like to use it. I like to use, like, a Google Doc. Oh, obviously. I bring my laptop too. Well, that's pretty self-explanatory. Um, I usually bring my laptop just in case. Um, usually if it is a studio class though, I won't bring my laptop just because for the most of the day we're like patterning, draping, sewing. I don't need my laptop. If I need to research something, I will use my phone. Um, but yeah. Oh, also bring a charger. I <laughs> I'll never bring a charger, but you know, probably should just in case. Um, I also bring my AirPods, but I don't really listen to music. Most of the time, if I just kind of like zone out and do my own thing and I'm just like in my own little world, so I don't really listen to music that often. Um, but I do bring my AirPods sometimes just in case. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Hopefully this was helpful and yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!